Hi. In this video, we'll learn how to solve for uh, firm's supply function when we are given the production function of the technology that the firm is using. Suppose there is a firm which uses the following decreasing returns to scale technology. FLK equals square root of minimum of LK and we want to solve for the firm's supply function. Firm's problem here is to maximize with respect to Y, L and K. The profits P times Y minus WL minus RK subject to the constraint that y equals root of min l and k. So how do we solve this problem? We'll solve this problem in two steps. First, we'll solve the cost minimization problem of the firm, which is minimize with respect to l k, w l plus r k, subject to y equals the root of min l k, and then we'll solve the profit maximization problem. So how do we solve the cost minimization problem? Uh, that's simple. All that we're gonna do is we'll plot the ISO quant corresponding to Y level of output. This is how it's gonna look. This is uh, the ISO quant corresponding to Y level of output. So the objective is to choose a point on this isocon that minimizes the cost. Here it's simple because when we plot iso cost curves, they're gonna look like this with slope W by R. And this is the lowest possible iso cost curve. This is the lowest possible iso cost curve that passes through the isocon. So what is this point? This is isocon corresponding to Y level of output. So L must be Y square and K must be Y square. Is that okay? So if L and K are Y square, then you know these are also known as conditional input demand functions. So conditional input demand function is L equals Y square, K equals Y square. Now we are going to substitute it into the cost so that we get the cost function. So C equals W plus R times Y square. Now once you have this cost function, the next step is to solve for the supply. So this is how we'll solve for the supply. We will write the profit maximization problem, maximize with respect to Y p y minus w plus r y square. Now take the derivative of this with respect to y and set the derivative equal to zero to get the profit maximizing choice. So we are going to get p minus w plus r into 2y equal to zero. So y equals p divided by two times W plus R. This is the firm's supply function. And if you want to uh, figure out the input demands, so input demand will then be L equals Y square, so square of this, L equals K equals the square by four W plus R square. 